In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Respond.io chat. So please watch the video until the end and follow this tutorial step by step to avoid making mistakes. So let's get started. So Respond.io is an advanced messaging platform designed to help businesses manage customer conversations across multiple messaging apps. So it centralizes communication from various channels such as WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Telegram, SMS, and more, enabling businesses to streamline and scale their customer interactions efficiently. So it's widely used for customer support, marketing campaigns, and sales processes, offering a unified platform to manage large volumes of conversations while providing automation tools to improve response times and personalizations. So now let's proceed on creating an account. So let's click on try respond IO. And now from here, nothing uh, really special. So we'll just, let's just get started. So you can either fill in all of this information or simply continue with Google. I'm just going to continue with Google. Now from here, you want to set a password. And now from here, you want to set up your organization. I'm just going to go in right here, test. Enter your organization's website, your phone number, industry, role. So I'm just going to fill this up first off screen. Now, after creating your organization, you will now be redirected to this dashboard. So before you see this dashboard, you will see a pop-up video, which you can watch to see the basics of Respond.io, but you can also skip that video. So now I'm just going to walk through all of the features of Respond.io. So what can you do right here? So first in this dashboard, as you can see, you can learn how Respond.io works. This is the basics. This is like the steps that you need to do in order to get started with this app. So as you can see, you can send yourself a message. So Respond.io allows your customers to reach you through multiple channels. So now let's pretend that you're a customer and self send yourself a message. Here's so on hi. And now you can scan and download the Respond.io mobile app and take, take your messaging on the go. As you can see, the next thing that you want to do is connect channels and invite your team. So now you want to connect uh, your selected channels. Let's say I have, I have selected Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp Business, and Instagram. So I'll just need to connect my account. Next is invite our team member by simply adding here their address and access level. So you can choose either owner, manager, or agent. Now automate your communication with workflows. So there is a workflow uh, feature of Respond.io. So you can build it right here. Also, you can create uh, using templates, a welcome message, or a simple chat menu or assignment. So let's say use template. And as you can see, this is a AI uh, template. This is the trigger. So let's say this is the uh, trigger. So this is our welcome message. So for our trigger, we have trigger conditions right here. Trigger variables. So let's just save this for another video. Next thing you want to do is go to this dashboard. From here, you'll see all of your contacts, your team members conversations, merge suggestions, and upcoming broadcasts. So you'll see everything uh, about your work right here. Next is inbox. From here, we will see all of our inbox. So uh, when we connect all of our channels, all of the messages from those channels will now be shown right here. You can also see team inbox right here and custom inbox and assign. So that's just a demo contact. And you can also see all of your messages by filtering here all. Next is contacts. And again, you can add contacts right here by simply adding their names, phone numbers, email address. 
can also import contacts by selecting a CSV file or uploading a CSV file. Now let's head over to broadcast. So this is uh, where you will see your broadcasts. So you can create broadcasts right here, create draft broadcast, scheduled broadcast, and you'll see if it's in progress, completed or failed. Next is workflows. So this is what we uh, made a while ago. So you can create uh, templates, you can create workflows, like uh, you can create messages, like automated messages that you want whenever they type this specific message. Next is reports. As you can see right here, you'll just see graphs of your reports. So this is how you will see the performance of your uh, of your work. You can also see responses, resolutions, messages. Here, as you can see, it's all this graphs and charts contacts, assignments, leaderboard, users, and broadcasts. Now let's head over to settings. From here, of course, you can simply edit your profile settings, your notification settings, and we have this workspace settings section. So from here, you can easily manage your teams, channels, growth widgets, contact fields, integrations, also the respondent AI. So the respond AI is the one uh, helping you with your workspace or workflow. Next is closing notes, snippets, tags. This is a new feature. Files, you can also export data and import data, and you can edit your organization settings just right here. Security and workspaces. Uh, this is your profile, and this is the uh, onboarding checklist. So, of course, you just created your account, so you need to finish this checklist to be more familiarized with Respondent IO. From here, you'll see Notification Center and the Help Center. So that's basically all of the features of Respondent IO. So there's nothing uh, more about that. So the only thing that you want to uh, be more familiarized with is uh, the workflow. So simply uh, follow the steps right here. Reach potential customers with broadcast. So just follow all of the uh, steps right here to be more familiarized and get yourself working on Respondent IO. As you can see in the top, you will see your progress. So if you reach 100%, uh, of course, that's the time that you can now work on your own. So that's basically how it works. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.